everyone. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Amanda and today is going to be part three of my Easter DIY decor video series. I have already posted videos number one and two and today will be number three. So if you haven't checked out those other videos, I will make sure to link those for you so you can check those out and you'll get the full series. I will have one more video coming after this one. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you know when video number four pops up too. And make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like these videos or you like things along the these lines and let's just go ahead and let's start project number three okay so for the third project um, I am going to need to paint um, my H got my big old H here and I got my big old P I'm gonna spell out the word hop um, and have this um, the wreath with some bunny ears on it so it'll kind of look like that um, I'm not going to use these bunny ears. I'm just using the template for the bunny ears. And I found this um, placemat at the Dollar Tree. I was actually looking for burlap. And I saw this placemat and thought that would actually be kind of nice. It's got a nice little texture to it in the brown. So we're going to cover that, those ears with that. And I'm going to take the leftover foam eggs from my um, Easter treats video. I'll put that below so you can check it out. I'm gonna take the rest of these and I'm gonna glue them to my um, my little Dollar Tree wreath here. So I got the letters. Obviously you can't get these letters at the Dollar Tree. That would be so nice if, if you could, but I got these from uh, Walmart. I think they're $1.97. And then um, this is Dollar Tree. That The little eggs are Dollar Tree. The um, Ears are from Dollar Tree, and you probably could if you really wanted to bypass this, um, but I just thought it would be much easier to go ahead and have the shape of the, e the I about said ear, uh, eggs, the shape of the ears, <laughs> and then um, go ahead and cover it with that. So that's a dollar. Now I did get the paint um, from Walmart as well. These are 50 cents, super, super inexpensive. This is Patriot Blue and then Pink Parfait. Um, and this is another dupe from something I saw online. So um, for the dupe ones I'm making today, I will show you a picture of what the ones I originally saw and then what we're ending up making. Um, I'll be honest, I'm still thinking about how the base is gonna be because these are gonna be all standing up like this together on a base. So I'm just gonna think of that as we go along. I'll figure it out and I'll let you know what we're gonna use for that. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint on and um, so I can get this going here. Okay, so I lied earlier. I said I was only gonna be using the pink and blue um, paint, but I remembered I wanna actually paint these with um, white first and then I'm gonna go back over it with the, paint, the pink and blue. Okay, so while I have the H and the P, um, drying, I am going to go ahead and add my um, Easter eggs to the wreath. And I'm really just gonna do this in no particular order. I just wanna make sure that they get on there and that they look cute. So I changed the camera angle just a little so hopefully you guys can see um, what I'm going to do with this. Um, but I'm just going to take another foam brush and then again this one is Patriot Blue. And I am going to, I don't know if they call it dry brushing or whatever, but I just don't want it to be too precise. I just want to get some color in here. And I'm totally okay with the white showing through. So I think that's it. I squirted out way too much of that paint too, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to get started on my bunny ears and let's see what we can do with that. <laughs> I'm 
glue some more. And I might have to add a, like a craft stick, a popsicle stick thing to the back here. Actually, that might not be a bad idea in general to do. To get it to hold up. Okay, I just grabbed two out of the package that I had here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that all the way, hopefully. back on here and you know what maybe I should have done the ears first 2020 hindsight is always 2020 isn't it okay so there's where we're at with the ears they're holding by themselves they're doing good those popsicle sticks helped for sure all right so let's see what the next step will be. I need to figure out a base real quick. So let me work on that and I'll be right back to you. I bought two of these thermometers. I don't know what I was gonna do with them in the first place. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree. This is what the packaging looks like. It just says thermometer. And um, I just wanna show you, this thing just pops right out. So just be careful disposing and um, I'm going to take my acetone, I'm going to rub this stuff off, hopefully this will come off. Okay, so I'm going to measure the best I can. Just again, I want the H to start right where the groove is, the edge of the H turn this around for you so you can see right here so I'm gonna kind of put the um, the stick I need it to go right here and then right in the middle here as well <music> Um, I want the edge of the P to line up with the, the thing so it actually is the same distance away from the the edge as the H is if that makes any sense so like right in here is kind of where I want my P to go so I'm gonna do the same thing decided to um, use a little piece of the popsicle stick um, and glue it right here to the middle and then that way when I glue the wreath on um, it's not just sticking to the plastic that maybe it'll stick a little bit better to the um, little popsicle stick here so because my power went out it is back on now but I had already grabbed my handy dandy hot hot glue gun so I'm gonna use a generous amount of that Stick it right here in the middle. I'm gonna push down real good. Hold that. I'm 
Okay, and then I am going to, and wish me luck on this part. Now, I am backwards um, from y'all, so just bear with me though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this down and I'm just gonna use a ton of hot glue. Now, I will probably come back and paint this white as well, um, so I'm not really worried about it showing right now. Let's just see how this goes. And this egg that's in the front, I'll be honest, it's kind of like hiding that a little bit. So it's not super, super, um, it's not in view super, super bad. Okay. I figured this would be the most challenging part. And I think I'm right. So I've got this, I've let it sit for a while and it seems to be holding just fine. Again, I got some glue on my table again. Um, so I just kept putting hot glue all the way around it here. Um, so I think, let me turn it around here. Let me be super careful. Um, now I do this. Again, this is going to be good for sitting. It's not going to be good for playing with. So um, up here on the ears or front of the ears, I'm gonna put a little bow. And I had some of this burlap chevron ribbon left over um, from another project. So I am just taking a piece, folding it over. I'm about to glue that. And then I'm gonna pinch it together like this. Sorry, let me show you that way and then I'm gonna wrap another little piece around it and I'm gonna put that on there It'll do for this. <laughs> All right, so scoot this over here so you can see. I am going to kind of put it right there in the middle where the ears meet. Now, down here at the bottom where I had to glue um, multiple times down here. Um, I want to kind of cover that up now. I don't like, I'm not really liking the way it looks. So I thought let's try maybe putting a little bit of green grass. So let's see what that looks like. And I can add some more grass too, but I think that's going to end up being cute and I'll kind of pack it in here and show you this is what it would look like. Okay. So let's try that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, hopefully this view will be a little bit better so you can see down in here. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and I've kinda got a little bit of grass bunched up. I'm gonna have it right up under here just to hide all of that. So I think it's gonna be cute. So here is the final project. I'm so happy with the way this one turned out. This is just so cute. I actually ended up putting it on my TV console, like right under my uh, TV that's on the wall instead of my buffet. And um, I just love how it turned out though. So cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry this one was so long. <laughs> this project just had many different pieces to it. Um, there is one more video coming in this three-part series, so make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when that fourth video pops up. And uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.